Join us as we uncover what makes Starfield a stellar addition to the gaming universe. We'll be delving into this highly anticipated game, exploring its captivating worlds, spaceship and outpost construction, and RPG mechanics. Starfield offers players a captivating sense of adventure as they approach their ship, the Frontier, awaiting them on a landing pad beneath a star-studded sky. The open hatch emits a warm and inviting glow, promising a journey into the unknown. This sensation of possibility, of charting unexplored territory, is a rare feeling in our meticulously mapped out world. However, the game's initial moments start somewhat blandly. Players assume the role of a miner who stumbles upon a fragment of an ancient artifact that leads to a mysterious vision and an invitation to join the Constellation Guild of Explorers. The Guild believes these artifact fragments are the key to uncovering the universe's deepest secrets. But mystical elements alone may not be enough to excite seasoned sci-fi enthusiasts. Starfield's potential lies in its ability to steer players toward more engaging and down-to-earth storylines, which it does eventually. However, this transition takes some time, as players must familiarize themselves with the game's menus, especially the star map used for interstellar navigation. They also need to get used to the game's somewhat stiff interactions, frequent loading screens, and occasionally overlapping dialogue lines. One of the game's strengths lies in its vast scope and creative imagination. In addition to the role of a space archaeologist, players can align themselves with various factions, ranging from arms manufacturers to volunteer peacekeeping forces, from space pirates to debt collectors. These factions are encountered organically as players hop between planets, each offering mission boards for earning credits to upgrade their equipment and ships or gather information. Players have the freedom to choose their approach to these goals, whether through diplomacy, bribery or force, depending on the character's skills and personal preferences. Overall, while Starfield may start somewhat slowly and has its technical quirks, it eventually reveals its depth and potential for immersive and diverse storytelling, allowing players to shape their own galactic adventures. So here are our thoughts. What makes Starfield good? Firstly, the visuals are stunning, especially when landing on moons around gas giants, offering a high fidelity experience. The level of detail in the environments, spaceship interiors and character suits is impressive, even down to the intricacies of doors. The game introduces a variety of engaging plotlines, particularly the faction missions, which are an improvement over previous Bethesda titles. Companions in Starfield are well written and exhibit a range of responses to player actions, enhancing immersion. Quests in the game are organically initiated, often beginning with a simple phrase like, I heard X guy has some work for you. Shooting mechanics are solid and enemies are reasonably responsive. The game features distinct and visually appealing gun designs, each manufacturer having a unique look. Modular ship designs add depth and ship combat is enjoyable despite its simplicity. Handcrafted worlds display visual diversity and uniqueness. A wide range of perks cater to different playstyles, whether combat focused or science oriented. So what does Starfield need to work on? Facial animations are serviceable, but the lack of proper lighting during conversations makes them appear subpar in many situations. The user interface looks good but provides limited information, requiring players to guess or navigate through cumbersome menus. Inventory management has several shortcomings, such as the absence of indicators during mining or looting and the inability to sort items by the newest acquisition. The game lacks a feature to track resources that are needed for projects, making early game inventory management challenging. There's no screen to display all tracked projects, forcing players to manually search for them across various tabs. Boss travel lacks a clear indicator, leading to frustrating trial and error attempts. Quest indicators need better differentiation, especially when multiple objectives are active. Exploration and settlement mechanics feel underdeveloped, with a lack of convenient features like a list of explored planets and their resources. Manual scanning for resources during exploration can be tedious, especially when players have advanced scanning perks. Planetary traits appear to serve little purpose except as trivia, lacking unique gameplay impact. The presence of human structures on almost every planet diminishes the feeling of being a pioneering explorer. The absence of exploration vehicles or exploration-focused ship modules limits convenience. The game doesn't allow players to use the interstellar cargo link to deliver resources to shipyards. Autocrafting lacks a clear purpose, with no compelling reason to set up production chains for advanced components. Ammo crafting is missing, despite the potential for crafting basic ammunition. 
and perks are overly fragmented, requiring players to pay for additional levels and sometimes unnecessarily splitting similar abilities. While Starfield offers an expansive and visually impressive universe, it faces criticism for various user interface issues, inventory management challenges, and aspects of gameplay that feel a little underdeveloped. Players hope for improvements in these areas to enhance their overall experience, which is definitely possible in the future with a few updates. Starfield's combat, while reminiscent of the Fallout series, unfortunately falls short of expectations and is considered one of its weaker aspects. Gunplay, which is central to the game's core, often lacks the satisfaction players hope for. While some combat encounters are straightforward, others become frustrating barriers characterized by an overwhelming number of enemies, robots, turrets, and a lack of stealth opportunities. Additionally, random appearances of high-level foes can make these situations even more challenging. In response, players might resort to the strategy of bypassing enemies to progress through missions, but this approach doesn't always deliver a rewarding experience. In contrast to games like Borderlands, where weapons exhibit a wide range of unique characteristics and satisfying shooting mechanics, Starfield's guns feel remarkably similar to one another. This lack of diversity in firearms can make combat less engaging and exciting. Although players can modify their weapons and encounter a few guns with elemental effects as they explore the galaxy, the overall combat experience often appears tacked on to cater to first-person shooter enthusiasts, rather than being seamlessly integrated into the game's progression. Starfield's combat system, while resembling that of the Fallout series, struggles to deliver a compelling and varied experience. Players may find themselves facing frustrating encounters with limited weapon diversity, making combat feel less enjoyable and more of an obligatory aspect of the game's design. We've compiled the reviews from hundreds of players, and these pros and cons are the result of our analysis. Pros Starfield boasts fantastically designed cities and worlds offering players visually captivating and immersive environments to explore. The implementation of spaceship construction is well executed, adding depth to the player's experience. The game features deep RPG mechanics that provide players with a high degree of freedom, allowing them to assume various roles such as spies, traders, smugglers, mining magnates or space pirates. There's an enormous variety in the game's setting, ensuring that players encounter diverse and captivating locations and intuitive base-building mechanics extend to both machines and exterior and interior spaces, enhancing the player's creative freedom. And the cons. While being expansive, Starfield is more restricted in terms of exploration compared to games like No Man's Sky. Boss travel is the primary means of travel and players cannot manually fly to planets. Planets in Starfield are self-contained systems, lacking the interconnectedness of a mega open world. Some planets may feel barren and empty until players establish mining facilities, making them more meaningful. And there's no way to travel around planets once you land your ship on them, making the game feel like a running simulator. Overall, Starfield successfully combines the expansive diversity of No Man's Sky with the depth of dialogue and creative quests seen in games like Fallout and Mass Effect. The game's reliance on fast travel and the necessity of building bases on many planets may be a minor drawback for some players but it ultimately delivers a fulfilling and immersive space exploration experience. So is it worth it? The simple answer is yes, Starfield is absolutely worth it. If the concept of Skyrim in a space setting sounds appealing to you, then Starfield is likely worth getting at full price. Or head over and get the Microsoft Game Pass, which can allow you to play Starfield for free on PC or Xbox. That's all for today. Don't forget to cross your T's and square your eyes.